Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Jeremiah chapter five, verse one. It reads as follows. Go up and down the streets of Jerusalem. Look around and consider. Search through her squares. If you can find but one person who deals honestly and seeks the truth, I will forgive this city. In the context of this scripture, the Lord is speaking through the prophet Jeremiah, and he is not a happy camper. The Lord is frustrated. He is sad. He is saying, my people don't know me. They don't follow me. Sin runs rampant. It's just sort of a mess. He says something similar to what he actually said to Abraham some years beforehand. Abraham is interceding for Sodom and Gomorrah because his nephew Lot lives in Sodom. And Abraham says, okay, Lord, if there's just a handful of people in the two cities, will you destroy it? And the Lord says, no, if there's a handful of people, I will not destroy it. And he's sort of saying the same thing here through the prophet Jeremiah. He's saying, okay, if you can find but one upright person in Jerusalem, one who you know seeks the truth, who deals honestly, I will not destroy the city. This is obviously very sad because not one person could be found who sought the truth, who dealt honestly, who sought to follow the Lord, who sought to live uprightly, who sought to live righteously. Not one person could be found. No one was upright. Even though this is pretty sad, this is also pretty incredible. What the Lord is saying is that if there is one righteous person in the city, I will spare the entire city for that one righteous person. Even with all the sin, with all the rampant sin, with everything going on, with no one following me or listening to or me or obeying me, I would spare the entire city just for that one person. In a previous devotional, I shared a story about George Feller who lived in England in the 1800s. He was a Christian evangelist and he founded a lot of orphanages. He was known for his work with orphans and in Christian education. Well, he was traveling on a large ship to Quebec when the ship encountered heavy fog and the captain wanted to slow the boat down. Meller asked him, please don't slow down. I have to make an appointment in Quebec the next day to which the captain refused, of course, out of safety. Miller asked, okay, is there a place I can pray? They went down into this one room with the captain watching the, you know, Miller prayed to the Lord that the fog would be lifted and then got up and said, you will find when we get upstairs that the fog is lifted. I know my Lord. The captain was very, you know, disbelieving of this, but they went up onto the deck and the fog indeed had lifted. The captain became a Christian right there on the spot. He gave his life to the Lord and Mellor made his appointment the next day. But what I want us to see is that God did all of this for just one man. You may even argue two men. I mean, he lifted fog off the Atlantic Ocean for one, maybe two men. He told Abraham, okay, I will spare Sodom and Gomorrah if you can find a handful of righteous men. He is speaking through the prophet Jeremiah and saying, if there is one righteous person, one person who deals honestly and who seeks the truth, I will spare all of Jerusalem. And if God will spare an entire city for just one person, what will he do for you? At your job, you may be the only reason why that job is still in business. He has spared it for you. Maybe the robber has hit all these homes in your neighborhood, but somehow it is, they have just passed yours. Your home has not been hit. God has spared that for you. Maybe there is that terrorist attack or that tornado or that hurricane that was meant for your city and God stayed the hand and he spared it for you. We honor and praise and give God glory that he will literally move these type of mountains for us. That's absolutely incredible. But let's also do like George Miller, where we live righteously before other people so that when he is doing that, they see that without a shadow of a doubt, that is the Lord. And they give them their lives to the Lord because they see, okay, wow, he's doing that for this person. That person has that sort of relationship with the Lord. I want that too. Living for the Lord is a blessing and a privilege. And I would dare say a responsibility because we can be God's witness to how he works in our lives to other people. They can see if God would do that for someone, for that person, if God would do that for them, maybe he would do that for me too. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we give you the honor and the glory, and we just thank you so much that you would do so much, God. You would literally move mountains, Lord. You would stay the hand of the enemy, God. You would come again, Lord, and suffer everything that you suffered if it was just for one person. God, we are just floored by how much you love us, Lord. You love all of us, Lord, but you love us individually, Lord. You love us so much, Lord, not because we're perfect, we're not, not because we do everything right, we don't, Lord. You just simply 
love us, Lord, and you want us, Lord, to live uprightly before you, Lord, to seek you, Lord, to deal honestly, Lord. We need your help with that on a daily basis, but we want to honor you, God. We want to live righteously before you. We want to bring you glory, God, and for other people to see, oh, wait, there's something different about that person. Look what God does for them. I want that too. Help us, Lord, to honor you. We thank you, God, that you love us so much, that you do so much for us, God, and we want to return it, Lord, by showing, Lord, others, Lord, how good you are and how great it is to serve you. We love you, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you very much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching always. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. I'll see you next time.